course, Shabuji basically it's a core company for civil engineering and initially they had this uh, cutoff of 6.0, the CGPA cutoff and I think uh, there were around 50 people which applied for the company and then we went and uh, there was this uh, HR female who she was very well spoken and she gave an interview, I mean uh, she gave a presentation about the company, about what all projects they are involved in and you know she was trying to like impress us and the first thing she told us like you know people who want to stay in this company for good only those people come and sit for the exam and do not waste their time because they don't want people who want to join their company and leave in six months so that was their first criteria and then uh, I actually made a note of this point so later uh, we had this uh, written exam and they had two sections one was the technical section and the other one was the English section and in the technical section I guess uh, there was like five uh, sections, one was like uh, structural engineering, solid mechanics, uh, advanced transportation engineering, uh, surveying and you know uh, hydraulics, uh, sorry uh, fluid mechanics. So basically you need to brush up on all the basics of these topics and go for the exam. So that will actually pretty much help in the technical round. And in English uh, they had these grammar sections, they had uh, jumbled up sentences and you know fill in the blanks, those kind of things. The written exam on English part was pretty easy and I guess that's what helped me get through. And then uh, the technical round, um, yeah, if you prepare for GATE, there is this handbook for GATE and most of the questions came from that, so that, would, uh, that was pretty helpful. Then after the written exam, I think uh, one hour after that they announced the results and out of the 50 people who sat for the exam, uh, 16 qualified for the next round. And after that uh, they divide uh, everyone into four groups, uh, groups of four. And like uh, we went, I think um, me, I was with three other people and my topic for GD was uh, the use of drugs uh, can be justified in Olympics and you know you have to speak for and against it. So I, uh, the thing was that the people who came with me uh, they didn't speak much. So in my GD I think I spoke almost 90% of the time and uh, she was pretty impressed and she kept a note like she remembered my name when I went for the interview later on. So uh, the GD was basically an easy round, you just have to go and show like you know how fluent you speak English or how confidently you speak in front of them. So that's your, know, so I had kept that in my mind and I went for the interview and it went pretty well for me. Later uh, for the interview when I went, actually the, out of the 16 people who got selected, I guess I was the one with the lowest CGPA, I was 6 and uh, rest all of them was about 7.5. So uh, I needed to make up a reason and I, uh, the first thing I went inside and the first thing they asked was, you know, uh, why is your CGPA so low? Because it's just on the mark, I was 6.1. So then uh, I actually I had uh, advice from my senior and that also I saw a video from the placement grid only. He said, you know, I said like uh, I'm an NRI so basically when I came to MNIT I took some time to adapt. And you know in a competitive college like uh, MNIT once you lag behind then it's very hard to catch up again. So yeah, so I had fallen behind but uh, I said that, you know, once I entered third year and I understood the competition, so I started working hard and I brought up my CGP and now I'm able to sit for this interview and I said that I consider it as one of my good achievements. Then they asked things like, you know, why do you want to get into Shaburji? So I told them like after I did my uh, uh, training in second year, uh, like I kind of got interested into this field and I like this construction management field and site engineering field. And I feel like you know Shapuji can give me the best platform for such kind of job or you know what I want to pursue later in my life. So and they were pretty impressed by it. Then after that uh, they asked just uh, for me um, they asked two technical questions. One was like uh, how does the re reinforcements are laid in a two-way stack and then they asked uh, mostly about uh, my training. So basically I would advise that you know uh, you have to really learn and like you know brush up on your training or whatever you learn at the training because they will be asking a lot of questions from that. They asked uh, you know what you did and where you did. Actually I did my training abroad so they asked me to compare like you know how, it, how was it in India, did you compare with your friends. Then the second thing was like you know they wanted to make sure that I wanted to stay in the company for sure. So like they started asking questions like would you want to go back to Doha or would you want to stay. So I told things like you know I think my father might retire very soon so he'll be coming here, uh, he'll be coming back to India. So and they were like okay fine so then uh, what if your father wants to stay with you and you know uh, they I said like you know he's self-sustained I don't need to help him to you know uh, carry on life and also you know they wanted to make basically what they want is like they want somebody who can communicate very well and they want somebody who's actually interested in the job. So that's what I feel you should put forward in this company and after that uh, after that I came out and then they called me back in and then they asked me about my extracurricular activities.
outfits and they made a note of it. I told that I've been like part of the college for probably about three years, I have my own dance group and things like that. And they asked about like you know certificates and which all IITs I've been to for playing and dancing. So pretty much that was it and many interviews came here. Yeah. As a tip, I would say like you know after you play the technical round for the GD and the interview, uh, talk as confidently as possible. Like brush up on your English, like you know look at them eye to eye and talk to them confidently because they are such a people who can actually uh, communicate properly because this job is actually a site engineering job and uh, you know and you also have to show that you know you are actually interested in this company. You have to put points forward saying that like you know why you are interested in this company and why you will stay here for good. So I would say that's some good tips for this.